my money friends, welcome back to the channel, Dunk here from Dunk's Money. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing, I really appreciate the support and thank you for all the liking and commenting uh, on my previous videos. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dunk, I'm from Scotland, I'm an entrepreneur and then I'm an investor. I'm really interested in finance um, and this is my YouTube channel where I will share uh, uh, stocks and shares sorts of tips. Uh, financial issues and other sort of money matters, I'll be posting videos here. So make sure to subscribe so that you get all my latest videos and I hope that you will enjoy them. I started off in the world of finance about five about five years ago or so um, and I understand that it can be quite confusing at first but don't worry, you will get there. Keep watching the videos and watch other folk as well and you'll learn lots more about finance. I hope you enjoy. Hello YouTube, hello money friends. Welcome back to another episode here on Dunk's Money with me, Dunk. So I hope you've been enjoying the videos so far. And can I just say, if you're a subscriber who's watching this, thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate your support. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, so today we're going to talk about Arrow Global Group, ARW. Now this is a company which I didn't know about until I was given the heads up from another YouTuber. And I'll put their name in the description. Um, so what I'm planning today is to just explain to you who Arrow Group are uh, and I have bought some shares in Arrow Group uh, and I'll explain why. So Arrow Group are based in Manchester in the United Kingdom and they've got um, two, just over 2,400 employees and what they do is they specialise in the collection and service of loans. So they basically buy discounted sort of debt from big banks or financial institutions. They take on those debts and then they work out a repayment plan with the the, the debtor uh, and ultimately they make a profit. Um, so I suppose it helps the big banks offload the debt, make a bit of money out of it and then they are buying these debts at a discount. Yes, they do that. They do trade debts, by the way, if you're new to this. Uh, so quite interesting. So just some information about Arrow Global Group. Uh, so their current market capitalisation is £157.78 million. Pound. Now remember guys that market cap is basically today's share price times by all of the current shares which are owned by investors. So if you times the number of shares owned by investors by today's stock price, you will come to £157 million. So not the biggest company obviously that we've spoken about here, but they're a fair, fair enough size. Um, PE ratio is very low, 3.56. It's a very low PE ratio. Now the PE ratio, remember guys, is the price to earnings. That's the stock price in relation to the earnings of the company. So that's a nice low P.E. ratio. Earnings per share of 25 pence per share. Uh, dividend yield 4.94%. 4 pence a share. But don't get too excited, guys. They recently scrapped the dividend to try and raise £15 million pounds of uh, capital for helping them get through the coronavirus lockdown, unfortunately. And their beta score, remember that beta is a measure of volatility. I quite like it. Their beta score is 1.83. So if you have a beta score of less than 1, it means that the stock price hasn't moved more than the overall market. So in this case, their stock price has moved more than the overall market. So they're a bit more volatile, a bit more risky. As we know, more risk equals more reward. That doesn't necessarily mean that you should go for it. Um, now, just looking at their income, income statement, uh, their turnover from 2017 to 18 dropped and then was up again in 19, so the their total revenue was £326 million. Not too shabby, <laughs> I wouldn't mind that myself, but the crux of it is the profit, so let's have a look. They've made a net profit every year from 2017, and in 2019 they made a £35 million profit, which isn't too bad, that's pretty decent. Um, so a profit, mar uh, a profit margin of 10.7%, uh, so not too bad. And excuse me guys for reading my notes here, I just want to make sure that I give you all the most up-to-date, uh, accurate information. I don't be making stuff up. Um, and if we look at the balance sheet, total assets of £1.67 billion and liabilities of £1.47 billion. So their debt to asset ratio of 88%, so quite a lot of debt there. 88% uh, of the value of their assets is debt. Um, so yeah, we can see there they've got a lot of debt. Um, and just out of interest, the year-to-date price change, so the, today's stock price is 60% lower than what it was this time last year, um, and their three-month average value 
average volume is 20.49. Um, so quite an interesting little company. I'm um, grateful for the heads up. And I decided to buy into them. So why don't we jump into the app now, Trading212, and you can watch me, yours truly, buying shares in Arrow Global Group. Hi everyone, welcome back into the Trading212 app. Here today, 4th of June, with me, Dunk from Dunk's Money. Today I'm going to buy some Arrow Global Group uh, shares. If we look over the last year, you can see a massive drop there. So we're currently down to a pound and two pence from a peak back in February of £2.97. So today I'm going to buy some shares in this group and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, right, I am wanting to buy, what is that, pound, pound and two pence. So if I buy... 40 shares, 40 shares, 40 pound and 63 pence, I'll go for that, 40 shares, 40 pound, 1 pound and 2 pence, let's go for it, it should come through pretty quick, cool, so I've got 40 now, and that was about just over a pound a share, so we'll keep on to that, we'll hold on to it guys, and we'll see how that goes. So as you saw there guys, I managed to pick up 40 shares at 1 pound a share, so 40 quid. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm looking at the chart. In March, their share price was £3, so I've bought it about a third of what they were at. So, have it in the right thing. We'll wait and see what happens with it. Quite an interesting little business. And it's only £40 that I've put in. I would spend that easily on a Chinese takeaway, because I am a fairly large boy and I like to eat a lot. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Just out of, in just out of, in uh, just out of interest for you, everyone, uh, one of their directors, uh, Andrew Fisher, uh, in May, he actually bought 47,500 shares in the company, which for me is a good sign. I always think that if someone within the business is willing to buy that much, then they're optimistic, so that's quite good. Um, and uh, like I said earlier, they have they have scrapped the dividend for 2020 to raise £15 million to help them get through the coronavirus lockdown. But no, all in all, quite a decent looking wee company there. Um, the financials seem quite good. Quite a high uh, debt to asset ratio, um, but I can live with that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video here, guys. And uh, if you've enjoyed it, please hit like just so I know you have. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And if you've got the same shares, I'd be interested in knowing what you think of this wee company. And uh, if you're new, please remember to hit subscribe, and that way you'll get all my videos as they come out. But no, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I do appreciate it. Remember to stay safe and uh, enjoy trading. So I really hope you enjoyed that video there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please uh, comment below uh, and tell me what you think. If you like this video, please make sure to like it. And please remember to hit subscribe and you'll get all my latest videos. All the best, guys. I'm Dunk and I love money. So should you.